everyone, and welcome to this week's St. Luke's video update. I'm standing in the multi-purpose room downstairs under the sanctuary because I want to show you all what it looks like this week. Take a look. We have staying with us this week our friends from two Presbyterian churches in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And our multi-purpose room has been their home for the week. And while they've been here, they have worked at the Bliss House, painting tables and building a new ramp and doing all kinds of landscaping. And they've worked up in Henryville at the home of a couple of our church members, clearing away trees and cutting wood out in this miserable heat. They have worked so hard, this group of nine youth and three adults. During the week, our church has played host to them, not just providing them a place to put down their air mattresses, but providing meals, taking them out to the bats game, making arrangements for them to swim, and making sure that they are welcome and that their service is appreciated. All of this exchange of service continues this weekend when another group comes in. We won't be having them camp on our floor, but they will be with us on Saturday working and then again on Sunday morning as they'll share in leadership of worship with their pastor and some of their members. We'll be talking together about service listening to the story of Jesus serving people food with the breaking of the loaves and the sharing of the fishes and reminding ourselves why it is that we as Christians do all of this, how Jesus calls us to serve one another, to love one another, to share of what we have, and that when we do those things, it is a sign and a presence of Jesus alive in our midst. These young people this week have certainly been a sign of Jesus alive and well in our midst here at St. Luke's and to those that they've helped. And I know that we, in our hospitality to them, have been a sign of Jesus to them as well. What a wonderful week it's been at your church. See you Sunday at St. Luke's.